Welcome back, you're watching Gadget Girls. In our next story, Sasha, you get to walk around in a virtual world. I did, I was fortunate enough to be able to view and experience a virtual representation of the world that we live in. Well, that sounds really neat. Let's check it out. Today we're talking to Andrew from HSpace and we're going to be looking at some virtual workspaces that they use to collaborate with their consumers to present these holographic images. Andrew, why don't you show us a little bit about your virtual workspaces and how they work? Um, absolutely, yes, gladly. Um, what we're doing is we're actually building um, holographic products and we're conveying those ideas in virtual reality. Um, and that's why we built this virtual world. So this isn't, I mean, the virtual spaces aren't really new technologies per se, no. but the way you're, you are using them for commercial purposes is something that's never been done before. Is that correct? Yes. I mean, we realized this, um, you know, 15 years ago. <laughs> and uh, we, we, we had a need to actually communicate holographic concepts without having to send samples. And we got together with, uh, with a group of brilliant uh, software designers and we designed a virtual space that, that actually allowed us to interact um, all over the world. And that was the beginning. So you're basically be building a concept model of your, of your product or your holograms and, and presenting it through your virtual workspaces. Yes. And yeah. you're able to do that um, regardless of where your consumers are geographically distributed. Exactly. Is that correct? What can you do with this workspace? Well, you can convey a concept, you see. So, so if you're a client and you're developing a hologram, well, one can discuss the model with the, with the client. But if you're a customer, you can convey a concept. So you can actually look around something, even though that's a flat image, uh, because it's a piece of holographic film, you convey the concept of three-dimensionality. So you have full interactivity. And you're the one who's able to look at it. It's, you know, you can decide which angle you want to look at. So what's the future of, of having these virtual workspaces? Well, with computer technology, especially with holographic optical technology, which right. is coming now, um, where you'll be able to actually um, translate a lot of information instantaneously, the room will be able to react where you are, and it will adjust the visual picture or the space that you're in, in real time. So you will have to wear something like a holographic skin. Right. But basically what that is, it's um, a sensors all over your body that will actually sense where you are in relationship to everything else. So when you move around the space, the space knows where you are, and that information is conveyed to whoever else is sharing the same space with you. So if you're going to meet with your family, and they're all over the world, you could meet in the same visual space. So in the future, you'll be able to actually experience things in, in totality. You know, you'll be able to actually feel and, and so on. So you could actually go on the beach, you could go swimming, feel the water, feel the temperature, <laughs> feel the breeze. <laughs> and that would be amazing. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't actually have to, it's not just a matter of looking at the screen to see you where you are. It. It's being able to feel the sand beneath your feet. It's being able yeah. to feel you, the, 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 the water on your hands and the absolutely. wind in your hair. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm so excited and, uh, and, I, and I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down with us and show us all these amazing technologies. 